Hello, welcome to the Agent Usenet service. Today we're going to talk about the account manager where you can do things like change your password, update your billing information, or upgrade your Agent Usenet plan. To access the Agent Usenet account manager, go to the Forte homepage, use the Agent Usenet dropdown, and select Manage My Account. Or just go directly to newsaccount.forteinc.com. Then enter your username and password. If you've forgotten your account manager login, you can find it in your Agent Usenet subscription confirmation email. Here's what mine looks like in Gmail. Here's the username. Just use copy and paste and here is the password. By the way, this is the same username and password that you will use in your newsreader to download news groups. Otherwise, click the Forgot Your Password link, then enter your username and email address. Okay, I'm going to paste in my username from my confirmation email and enter my password then press login. The account manager is organized into four tabs. Right now we're on the user information tab. On the left is where you change your email address or reset your password. You can also set your time zone so that the times in the account manager will appear in your local time zone. On the right is your current status box. You can see that I'm on the 20 gigabyte tier or plan and I haven't used up any bytes yet. You can also see that when I renew my account my charge will be $2.95. Below that are the IP addresses that have been used to access my account. Security is a very important concern for us. So for example, the account manager will log you out automatically if you're idle for 15 minutes. It'll log you out automatically after 45 minutes no matter what. And it will also log you out immediately if you click on the log out link. Next we'll go to the credit card tab. On the left you'll notice that my credit card number doesn't show up. This is also for security purposes. At any point, I can change credit cards by entering data in these required fields. On the right, my current status appears again, and below that is my recent credit card activity. Here you can see I was charged $2.95 for my first month of usage. Now let's look at the Renewal tab. Here are all the options that affect my quota and my renewal date. For example, if I want to increase my quota, I can select a higher tier, like going from 20 to 90 gigabytes per month. And that will take place on my next monthly renewal date. If I want it to take place immediately, I should check Quota this month only. In that case, as soon as my original 20 gigabyte quota is up, my account will renew immediately starting with 90 gigabytes. If I select Unlimited as my tier, you'll see that my options change to just Monthly Cycle and Cancel because there is no quota. If you want to cancel your account, just press Cancel and then, of course, press the Submit button. Down below the Renewal options are three settings that control when you get notified. By default, you're notified if you're near your limit or over your limit, but if you'd like, you can optionally get notified every time your account renews. Last of all, let's go to the Statistics tab. On the left, you'll see a table of usage statistics. Currently, mine are all zero, but if you hover over the description, 
you'll get more information explaining exactly how these usage statistics are computed. Last of all, remember to click the logout link when you're done using the Agent Usenet Account Manager. Thank you and enjoy.